We're going to go through all the new changes with AppSheet. There are two major changes in 2023 that can affect you and your business. So we're going to dive in right now. First of all, what is AppSheet? AppSheet is a platform where you can create apps very quickly and deploy them. This is perfect if you're trying to create an internal tool. If you look at the templates, there are tons of examples how people are using this right now, including inventory tracking, project management, order deliveries, facility assets, and the list goes on and on. If we're trying to compare this, a lot of the things that Glide was trying to do or continues to do, they got their inspiration from AppSheet back in the day. Glide, a lot of times people say that's like the 2.0. AppSheet was one of the OGs out in the space building on Google Sheets. Now that AppSheet is under Google, they own it now, that's one of their brands, you can now tap in and use tons of different things from Google Cloud into your app sheet right now, including OCRs and other things, and now AI for your app creation. A couple months ago, they released all the new generative AI things that Google are doing, and now they're infusing that into app sheet as well. If you want more details, there's a whole blog post that Google release all the things that they plan on doing with AI and machine learning. But the summary of this is you can build apps a lot quicker. For example, you can use AppSheet for Google Chat. So you can actually chat with AppSheet and tell it what you're trying to build, and it will now build out the specs for your AppSheet, for your internal application. This has been demoed, um, and the specs and all these things from Google, there's a link down below but they're gonna be rolling this out to different users very quickly. What does that mean for you? This allows you to now not, you don't have to be an expert of AppSheet to start being able to build out really complex applications in AppSheet coming soon. Now, that doesn't mean you should know the basics of AppSheet because you might want to tweak or do some modifications yourself and you might have trouble describing it, but for the vast majority, now you're just going to be able to use this add-on in, in chat and be able to build out your application. If that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comment section down below when it gets released or I get access. I'm going to let you know. Now, the second thing that is important is they just also released all of the new changes to deal with the licensing. That just means how many people you can actually have under your account and you can actually, you know, in paying less. So the breakdown is AppSheet Core licenses to nine Google Workspace subscription tiers, making it available to more users at no additional cost. So if you're using, a, you know, Google Suite or if you're using work, a Workplace, uh, Workspace, and you're paying for a domain and everything, you're going to be able to have more people um, use it from your company. And that really helps a lot because if you look at the pricing tier, you could be, depending if you're doing the starter or core, you could be being charged 5 to $10 per month per user. But under this, you can go up to nine uh, in your company. That's pretty great. That's pretty great. So that's going to be rolling out very soon. Again, what I would really stress is Google, uh, what I would stress is AppSheet is made for internal use. So it depends on how many people are you, you're going to need at your company. But also this allows you, if you want to scale out or do more later on, you're going to be able to have the mechanics, see how people respond to your app. If you do decide you want to roll this out as a SaaS, a software as a service later on. But again, start taking, taking note right now from what AppSheet is rolling out in all these different uh, features and functionalities that you're going to be able to do right now. In the comments section down below, let me know what you're trying to build. It's really important that you first have an understanding of what you want to build for your application, what you're trying to do, because then this will allow you to be more effective when you roll out the app that you want to do. If you haven't taken a look, we have something called Validate Your Side Hustle in One Hour and it breaks down all the different things you need to consider to see if it's the right tech that you need, all of those things. And three of the things it mentions, who are you helping? What does success look like? And then going through this validation chart to see if your app is exactly 
what you should put out right now. If you're interested, there's a link down below to get this for free and to get started with your application. We'll come back with more information with uh, AppSheet or other things that Google is releasing for no code, low code, and AI. If you're interested, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll see you in the next